Hello everyone and welcome back. Our today's session will be on anti-forensics. Anti-forensics is an important point in digital forensics because anti-forensic techniques makes the investigation process harder. So having a better understanding of such techniques will help to deal with the situation where data recovery or evidence gathering is much difficult. So in today's session, we will have a brief introduction on this topic. Then what is meant by anti-forensics, its purpose, different anti-forensic techniques, and lastly, some practical demonstration using some tools. So let's begin with the introduction. One of the main objectives of attacker is to remain undetected by digital forensic investigators, both during and after their malicious activities. To achieve this, they perform anti-forensic techniques. So often, attackers perform malicious activities on any computer or network. And we all know that the traces of these activities always left behind. So these traces are helpful for forensic investigators to identify the incident, evidence and also the attacker. But mostly attackers use anti-forensic techniques to erase their traces and hence investigators face challenges in performing investigation. Anti-forensic techniques are used by attackers to cover their tracks, allowing them to alter or delete the evidence. These techniques help them evade network security and launch attacks without forensic investigators detecting them. So anti-forensic techniques are used by the attackers to cover their traces and they can alter the evidence or may delete it. These techniques help them to bypass the network security and launch their attacks. So with the help of these techniques, they can erase the traces of intrusion. So investigators cannot track them. The next point is purpose. Why the attackers use this kind of techniques? So the main purpose or goal of anti-forensics is interrupt and prevent information collection. So the attackers use these techniques to interrupt the evidence or information collection, make investigators task of finding evidence difficult. By covering their tracks, they make it difficult for the investigator to identify the evidence, hide traces of crime. So even they hide traces of their malicious activities with the help of these techniques and compromise accuracy of forensic report. So by using these kind of techniques or tools, attackers can compromise the accuracy of the investigator's report. Next, we'll see different anti-forensic techniques. So these are the methods that make the investigation process harder in order to protect the attacker. These techniques act against the investigation process. Also, these techniques impact the quality of evidence which is being collected. Hence, attackers use these techniques to defend themselves, to hide their activities or actions. So, the type of anti-forensic techniques are data or file deletion, password protection, stignography, artifact wiping, trail obfuscation and encryption. We will see each of these techniques in detail one by one. So first we will see data or file deletion. When a file is deleted from the hard drive, the pointer to the file gets deleted, but the contents of the file remain on the disk. In other words, the deleted files can be recovered from the hard disk until the sectors containing the contents of the file are overwritten with new data. So we have seen this in our previous module of understanding the structures. 
when a file is deleted some traces of it still remains on the disk and it can be re de recovered until it is overwritten so forensic investigators use some tools to recover such deleted files like we have seen the practical of autopsy where we have recovered the deleted files using the tool so other tools are recover my files and eases data recovery so often attackers use this technique to delete any file that could serve as evidence of their activities next is password protection so passwords are important because they are the gateway to most of the computer systems attackers use this protection techniques to hide evidence data hinder information extraction from network devices and prevent access to system and hard disk so we all know that passwords are most important to protect our system or data and in terms of attackers they use these kind of protection techniques to hide the evidence or this protection will affect the investigator in accessing the system or hard disk which is an evidence in a particular case so in this situation often investigators use different tools to bypass the password protection or to crack the passwords like oph crack which is a windows password cracker tool and rainbow crack so which is a password cracking software so the next point is stenography stenography refers to the art of hiding data behind other data without the target's knowledge thereby hiding the existence of message itself so basically stenography means to hide any kind of secret message or data behind an image or within audio files to avoid its detection attackers use stenography to hide the messages like to hide the source code for the hacking tool or the list of compromised servers or maybe the plan for future attack and forensic investigators use some tools to extract the hidden information so the investigator examines the stego object to extract the information next one is trail obfuscation the purpose of trail obfuscation is to mislead or confuse the forensic investigation process so the investigator is misleaded by the attacker via log tampering time stamp modification that is metadata alteration and file header modification so in this case attackers use some tool like time stamp to modify the time stamp of the file that is to change the file creation modification date and time so with the help of this attacker can hide their activities next point is artifact wiping artifact wiping means the process of deleting or destroying the evidence files permanently with the help of disk wiping and disk destruction techniques so in this the disk is formatted so that the evidence files are deleted permanently with the help of some different techniques like disk wiping or file wiping so with this the files are permanently removed from the system or the file system itself is eliminated the last anti forensic technique is encryption encryption is an effective way to secure the data that involves the process of translating the data into a secret code that only authorized personnel can access so basically encryption means to encrypt the data or file in order to protect it from any kind of unauthorized access and often attackers or intruders use encryption 
so that it becomes difficult for the investigator to analyze the file or data without the decryption key. So it is unreadable for the investigator. So to tackle against these techniques, investigators use different tools like for data recovery, a topsy tool is being used to analyze the network traffic, Wireshark tool is used to analyze the volatile memory, volatility framework is used and to detect stigmography and encryption, some different kinds of tools are being used. We have already seen data recovery and network traffic analysis in our previous modules using autopsy and Wireshark. So now we will see how to detect the stignographic content which is hidden within the file. So we'll see one practical that is anti-stignography analysis. So we will only detect the stignographic content which is hidden within the files. So for this purpose, we'll be using Stegspy tool. So Stegspy is an open source tool which is used to detect the stignography and it also identify the tool which is used to hide the content. So this helps the investigator to identify which tool was used by the attacker during the process and also to plan the further process like which tool the investigator have to be used to decode the hidden information. So for that we require the stegspy tool and any sample file which contains the hidden content in it. So you can download the stegspy tool from Google and install it. So now we will see how this tool detects any file which contains a hidden content and also the tool which was used to hide the content within the file. So to detect the stigmographic content, we will be using this tool, which is Stegspy. But before that, we require a file which is having a hidden content within it. So for that purpose, we'll be using another tool to hide any content within the file. This is purely for educational purpose only. So to hide a content within a file, we'll be using this tool that is Hideman. So this tool basically hides the files. So here you have to choose a file to hide into means within which file you have to hide your content. So you have to choose this file. So I will be selecting any picture like this. So I have to hide any content within this picture. So just click on open and then choose the file you want to hide so basically i'll choose one text file which i want to hide within that image details then just click on hide files and enter so the file has been hidden within the pictures now what we have to do, we have to just detect the stignography means whether the file contains any hidden content or not. So for that purpose, we'll be using Stegspy tool. So just click on run. So this is the basic interface of this tool. You have to just click on run and then select the file. So this file we have used for hiding the content. So just select this and click on open. See, stignography is detect detected. So here it's been depicted that stignography is found at marker position and also Hiderman program detected. So as I have said before, this tool detects the stignography and also the program or tool which is being used to hide the content within the file. Like we have used Hideman tool 
for hiding the content behind the image so it is being displayed here with the help of this tool that hide a mine is used and also steganography is found at a specific position so in this way this tool detects any steganographic file and once we have found that the particular file contains any steganographic content then after that the investigator or analyst can use different tools to detect what content has been hidden within the particular file like open stego or steg expose so this was just about to detect the steganographic content what we have seen now so this was all about anti forensic techniques which can handle the forensic investigation process also we have seen one practical demonstration of how the investigator can use different tools to identify what kind of steps were being taken by the attacker to hide their traces so thank you for today stay tuned